What it do, homies? It's your boy Dave, and I'm back today. We back here with some more of the stipendium. This time we checking out the house always wins. Uh, Fallout New Vegas rap. I have played Fallout New Vegas these days. Who hasn't? You know what I mean? Played the living crap out of that long, so many hours, but that's been so long ago. Now the title of this is the house always wins. So you know, pretty, pretty, people are pretty much familiar with that concept. House always wins, even if it looks like you're up and everything's going good for you. Chances are that's how the house wanted it to happen. And then you're always going to lose, right? Kind of like the undertone. I'm interested to see how the stipendium tackles this. Let's go ahead, shut up and turn it up. That's the title of a, of a uh, um, quest. It's called The House Always Wins. <laughs> eyebrow, people's eyebrow. Welcome to the Lucky 38. Glad you could make the trip. The crowning jewel in the oasis of the Vegas Strip. I'm Robert Edwin House, the founder of this place of rest. Pretty cool. Haven for the wayward. That's to say, if you can pay the rent. Understand that if you try to stop my plans, you'll come to harm. I ensure that every bandit standing here has just one arm. I issue the grandeur of... Just one arm. Is that kind of like a double? You'll come to arm. Every bandit. Bandits usually try to come to harm, right? They're bandits. Just one arm, but also as I'm kind of giving like a... Uh, almost kind of giving like a sense that you also employs bandits. So you also, you know, if you come to harm, you'll lose an arm, but also arm as in firearm as if they employ bandits. Okay. Arm. I ensure that every bandit standing here has just one arm. I eschew the grandeur built a land for all that's free from smarm. But show your hand, I'll flush you out straight down to the farm. You blunder in and wonder if a bunch of chips can run the strip. A hundred twits with guns and clips have tried their luck and lost the bet. Okay. I funded it, I'm one with it. So watch your lip or run the risk. Cause if you're here to plunder it, you might just end up if under you're it. Hit them, you can pull them, stack the deck and play the dice. Yeah, so again, everything that he was just mentioning there is things that people do, obviously, to move the odds ever in their favor. You know what I mean? And like he said, all that glitters isn't gold, right? So you want a whole lot of money. Of course, you want to go and cash and everything. But oops, oops, sorry, you got to pay this certain fee where we get 90% of it. You agreed to it as soon as you walked in, that type of BS, man. I'm going to tell you, man, the house always wins, but it's always because of some BS. Always. This isn't golden. Cash that check, you'll pay the price. Might be safer in the desert. Only dust to judge your sins. Mm -hmm. Those who wager aren't so clever. Cause in heaven, well, the house always wins. The house always wins. That's interesting. Cause in heaven, the house always wins. Right. Heaven, you know, a lot of people would explain heaven as a place or or something that they're doing that just brings them absolute limitless joy. Right. But if we look at like heaven, heaven, where heaven house always wins, you get to heaven where God's judgment is absolute. Right. So the house always wins. That's interesting. At least that's how I decided to look at it. To see bets. the prophets of democracy, then go and see them. Across the street, a bunch of freaks are playing Coliseum. <laughs> Honestly, was the world you wanted what you got to see when you were dropping crosses into boxes behind polling screens? Was dropping bombs your chosen option? Did you vote for screams? Was the apocalypse your politician's policy? Did you put stock in their prepostering and prophecy? A shining future built on squabble free equality? That's interesting. So what he said about did you put checks you know democracy one democracy go and see it right you you pre you know yeah so you go in there and you ballot and you're checking for what what would you call how can i compare this right during campaign speeches and everything presidential uh nominees will go up and they will tell you about all these things that they can do for you and whatnot kind of compare that to like a slot machine where you're walking into their and you see it's like, hey, low value, high chances of winning, right? This is what is told to you. This is what you're led to believe. So therefore, you go and you spend your money. You go to a poll based off what the presidential nominee said they're going to do for you. They have your attention. You go and check that box out. But in reality, this is everything that's happened because of that action. Now, is that what you wanted to see? 
Is that what you thought the outcome was going to be? That's interesting. That's what I get from what he just said. Screams, was the apocalypse your politician's policy? Did you put stock in their prepostering and prophecy? A shining future built on squabble-free equality? Mm. That every day you'd get your plate of steak and collard greens? The human race was capable of anything but wanton greed? But now that world is gone and what lived on belongs to me. That freedom you so want, it's now the cost of living comfortably. Peace is mm. just a product with a focused test of billions and the test was unsuccessful so we altered its description. Your safety now provided by the Ooh. Ooh. now the cost of living that freedom you so wanted now the cost of living comfortably right oh comfortably peace is just a product with a focus test of billions that's crazy peace is just a product with a focus test of billions right you what what yeah, so the test was unsuccessful and the test was unsuccessful so we altered its description of what 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 peace actually means until we but in the meantime we're we're gonna test it on people at the cost of lives right oh wow successful so we altered its description your safety now provided by the guys at robco services for one ongoing price of your unwavering subservience impressed i raise the stakes return this land to vibrance witness as i raise estates from modern random violence business is the way to stay the bloody hand of tyrants Ooh, convinced yet sailing as my buddy andrew ryan yo that whole entire fray what <laughs> Oh my goodness. Witness as I raise estates from modern random violence. Right. Business is the way to stay the bloody hand, hand of, of tyrants. tyrants. Convinced yet sailing as my buddy, Andrew Ryan. <laughs> A grip of iron never tires. Head of ire, leaden wires, neon veins and ancient spires. Pump the caps and I respire. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, you stu stupendium's just on a, it's on another level. What is this? Yet sailing as my buddy Andrew Ryan. Right here I was sitting here thinking, I was like, all right, I got a pretty good idea of what's going on. I mean, everything he's been spitting so far, I understand. I'm understanding these references. I've played the game. Andrew Ryan, nice, okay. And then he just goes off into a tangent of just spitting bars. And now I gotta I gotta think more. Okay, hold on. A grip of iron never tired. Grip of iron. You know, iron tire. Iron, yeah. His head of iron, lead and wire. There's neon veins and ancient spires. Pump the caps and I respire. Neon veins and ancient spires. Pump the caps and I respire. Neon veins and, and ancient. So, uh, um, I think that's like a reference to if you go into a casino, you would mostly see like people who are retired or the elderly, right? I don't know what the specific the percentage of old people, you know, the percent uh, the demographics or the percentage of people that visit casinos. I don't know if they tend to be of the higher age, but I'm guessing, you know, a lot of that's probably have to do with location, 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 like Las Vegas, right? Casino, Casino Royale, right? But I also know there's a whole lot of young people that like to vacation there, maybe even live there. So I don't know what the statistics are, but that's interesting. Neon veins, almost kind of like uh, neon, right? So, uh, like pumping what fake life into them or something like that. There's head of iron, lead and wires, neon veins and ancient spires. Pump the caps and I respire. The economy is ash. I didn't light the fire, but I can always turn a profit sweeping up the you can pie. Get them. You can pull them, stack them, the remains wait to die. makes me want to play the game again. Interesting mood he decided to take the uh let's take the song. House always wins. I saw the path, I preempted those ascending arms. My gilded heart beats forever on to mend the scars. I mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's interesting, yeah. Yeah, some people uh, you know, gamble or whatnot. Um you know, it's like an addiction, 
right? And we usually go to places or addictions sometimes are, are, are formed to either cope with something, right? Or to, uh, to get over something that's left unresolved. So mending scars. Did those ascending arms, my gilded heart beats forever on to mend the scars. I built an arc out of empty spas and trendy bars, mended the families, befriended with the NCR. I raised the wasteland from a band of little fight clubs. I handle situations delicately, white gloves. I'm the chairman of the board taxing on your survival out to murder competition then sit back and hike the price up oh no society trapped that's uh what do you call that that's a monopoly yeah out to murder competition then sit back and hike the price up oh no a society trapped in a snow globe no surprises the raptors are no show or deniably tragic is no hope the mojave is savage is no hope but i like it to manage the whole show to the glitter the glamour and show boats build a magic map on my phone yo unofficially branded it rap with just a pair of dice i came and tamed these earthly wastes i built a paradise you might as well desert your faith long ago when we aimed armageddon at those pearly gates i used that molten gold to rebuild heaven at the 30 end that's very interesting right i'm kind of thinking of something like 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 for instance if i was like a brilliant tactician or whatnot and i wanted a way to get my business up afloat well first i need to find out how i can get a product um first i would find out a product that i can sell then i need to figure out how i can create a demand for it well if I was, you know, smart and a businessman, well, then sometimes in order to create that demand, right, you have to eliminate your competition. And in order to eliminate your competition, you can sometimes force your opposing competitions to battle with each other so you can sit down and reap from the rewards, right? Ties into the whole monopoly where he says eliminate the competition and uh, um, and then hike up the prices. And then he said he didn't start the fire. He was just benefiting or sweeping up the priors and everything. That's an interesting, right? It's been a while since I played Fallout, uh, Fallout New Vegas, but, huh. You can fold them, stack the deck, and weigh the dice. All that glitter isn't golden. Cash that check, you'll pay the price. Might be safer in the desert. Only dust to judge your sins. But those who wager aren't so clever. Cause in heaven, well, the house always you know there there there's something hold on make sure there's nothing thank you for watching this video secret, super secrety you know there's something about that mix of the song that's that's bothering me right so you know these days when we're listening to music we got all these dynamics and something like pumped into our ears unless you're listening to like like chill hop type music or whatnot um but everything just seemed like it's like held back and like like even the kick has a very very soft soft dynamic to it right and that's got me thinking you know, Supendium is definitely one of those type of producers that uh, puts a lot of thought or, you know, actually, I, don't, I actually don't know that um, as far as if he produces his own music. Uh, sometimes here in description, lights, vocals, animation, instrumental composed by, OK, Eskeletor. That's who made it. So Eskeletor, I guess I'm talking to you right here. Um, very interesting, right? Because we're sitting here talking about the house always wins. Now, if let's say that you're in a casino. Now, I do know that when you are in casinos, there's literally no windows, right, in casinos so that you lose track of time. The more time you're in there, the more money you lose. And therefore, and kind of give you the illusion. Maybe they'll let you win a little bit to keep you keep you playing, you know, and everything. And it's almost kind of like you're in a in a trance, right? Because you'll go in at like 3 p.m. and then come out and it's like two days past. You're like, yo, what's going on? What's, what's going on? That's crazy. Um, so the mellow type of sound can almost kind of give you a sense of you just being like in a trance. You know what I mean? Like just it's like it's like elevator music, you know, stuff that's designed to put you to sleep, like really, really trying to play on your senses. Just you just you just, you just automo automotive automotive that word <laughs> that you just kind of just just going with the flow and everything and then with the chorus where he's saying place your bets and everything i kind of think of that as your 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 subconscious right that that's that addiction uh if you have a addiction to that um 
kind of speaking to you, you know, like, oh, you just need one more, just one more and everything. So that's that's very interesting. Right. I always like to pay attention to the music elements. And sometimes that deters me away from the lyrics and everything, trying to absorb so much at the same time. But that's just what happens with the stipendium. Like you, 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 you can't just listen to a song and be done. Like you got to listen to it a couple of times. You're like, wait a minute. Right. He obviously got a song about a game. Right. And, and, and obviously there's going to be video game references, but you're silly to think that it's just that you're absolutely silly. And generally, whenever I'm looking at nerdcore video game stuff, I tend to not uh, comment on the video game references because that's a no duh. Like everybody gets those. What is he really saying? Right. So this is amazing. I'm definitely going to have to listen to this again because I'm pretty sure there's stuff that I've missed. And as you guys know, if you've watched my stipendium reactions, I am a very wordy reactor. <laughs> but if you've made it through my entire reaction, thank you. I'm sitting at about 15 minutes right now. Oh, my God. Anyways, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.